Hey guys, uh, I'm here today. I'm going to do a really short tutorial. I'm kind of under the weather. I was originally going to do a, a long video and go over, I kind of break down an entire track and kind of how I laid it out. So um, I'll probably do that next week, but this week I'm just going to go over this stereo width tool. Um, I I guess I've showed it a lot in tutorials recently and I've had some people actually message me and ask questions about like where I got it. So. I actually found out about this from a video I bought on eMusic courses. It was like mastering in the box with Ableton Live. I was pretty curious about it. And he made a bunch of plugins that you could use. And he made the stereo with tool. And if you watched my video last week, I, I actually sat down and just produced for 30 minutes and I wound up making this loop. So I'll kind of show you how I use it in case you didn't see that video. And then I'll show you how to make the little plugin really quick. So this is what I made. <laughs> So essentially, I think I don't have it on the bass, but I have it on have it on the flute, and I also probably have it on the pad. No, I actually don't have it on. No, yeah, I have it on the pad here as well. So if I take these off on both of them, so here one more time with them both on. Here, like, I'll play it soloed. And then with it off, Now, if you have headphones on, you can hear there's a difference. If you're on laptop speakers, probably not. If you're on monitors, then yeah, you'll probably hear the difference. You can hear that it's it does it's more spread out when you have this on, and it kind of gets it out of the center. So if I took turn these, if you listen to them all together with the flute and the kick and everything all together with it on, it has a lot of space. But if I turn this off on this channel and also on the flutes and I just kind of play it again it'll kind of be a little muddier in the center just trying to see if I have it on anything any of the drums sometimes I put it on certain drums but I didn't so you can kind of hear it's muddier. Um, there's a lot of there's things are fighting for space. So with using this, you, it allows you to kind of bring things out more to the sides, and it opens up the center, and it just creates more space. I also used the auto a pan on this one to kind of have it float around it to create more room. So essentially, I'm just going to break down this audio effects rack really quick. It's very simple to make. Uh, whoop. Here we'll just make it right now with a fresh audio effect rack so you have your audio effect rack we'll open it up and we're gonna create a chain create another chain and then this one's panned hard left and then this one's panned uh, hard right and then on this there's actually nothing on this chain at all it's just it's just gonna go through normal and then the other chain has a simple delay and we've talked about this in other tutorials as well uh, when you're at when you do it on time and you're at like 25 milliseconds, generally between zero and 40 milliseconds, depending on the sound, will create spatial depth, but it won't actually create an audible delay. So this one in the video, it was just set up to 24.4 milliseconds and I just leave it at that. Sometimes I adjust it, but usually I just, just pl place it on the track and don't think about it. And um, I'll just show you. So we'll, we'll, we put the simple delay on this one. You'll, we'll set it up. Uh, so, Basically, with the effect rack, we have the two chains. Like I said, uh, this right chain is going to be empty, and this left chain is going to have the simple delay on it. So we'll go down. We'll put a simple delay on this chain. And there's actually nothing you have to do in this area, too. It's already going to be. It just defaults that way. You're, you're set. You don't have to worry about moving any of these parameters around. So we'll go hide that. We'll come back and we'll link it so it's the same delay on both sides it, it's just one delay it doesn't have a left and a right and then we'll turn off sync we'll turn this up to 100 percent and we'll just bring this down to you know 24.4 milliseconds you could just play around too you might want things not as wide um just depends and that's really it that that's how you make it and i just named mine stereo with tool and i saved it and it just sets up in my audio effect rack section right there so just to show you one more time with this specific sound where is oh it's at the beginning um cool so
So that is it for that. Um, as well, uh, just some notes on this. This things will change too, uh, like with your effects and stuff, depending on where you place the stereo with tool. Like if you place it before or after a delay, or before or after a compressor, your compression is going to be different. So um, you can get different effects depending on what you're doing um, with where you place it in your effects chain as well. So other than that, this is it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys learned something, and hopefully this is helps out a lot with uh, your workflow and you can kind of get better with your mixing by using this tool as well.